Actors can get so engrossed in expressing their creative interpretations while on set, but some went a little too far. Find out who did it all the way. Don't look now, or you'll regret it. In 1973, Julie Christie and Donald Sutherland starred in the thriller drama titled Don't Look Now. It's about the journey of a grieving couple after they lost their little girl. During that era, the explicit scene between the couple's intimate moments was considered too much for mainstream cinema. The now-veteran actor, Donald Sutherland, denied the act. Yet, the movie critics found it too steamy not to categorize it as one. Yet after many years, this film has become a classic in the genre of romance and psycho-thriller. Al Pacino cruised wildly. He has seen it all in the world of cinematic pursuits. He starred in the 1980 crime drama, Cruising. The title has a double meaning. It's about police officers doing their usual patrol, and about those looking for some extra warm bed. When put together, you get an interesting plot. It showed extreme graphic scenes. The actor was quite committed to his performance. Despite a good synopsis and stellar acting, the film did not get high reviews during its release. It even received protests from the gay community. Chloe Sevigny swallowed too much pride. She is a well-recognized actress in the Golden Globes, Screen Actors Guild, and Academy. Chloe is also a fashion icon and filmmaker, yet most of her indie films are controversial for their experimental takes. One of them is The Brown Bunny. She pleased her director and co-star, Vincent Gallo, way too much. But the actress explained that she took the risk for the sake of art. Also, the two had been intimate in the past, so it wasn't weird for her. The vampire actor did it. Robert Pattinson's breakout role was the heartthrob vampire Edward Cullen in The Twilight Saga. It created an unusual cult following among teens back in the early 2000s. But the actor outgrew his fangs and took on more mature roles. One of them is the passionate love affair of two male artists in the film Little Ashes. He played the painter named Salvador Dali. Robert Pattinson revealed in Interview magazine that faking it wasn't working. So he took pleasure in himself at that moment. Well, at least the teen vampire didn't turn into ashes afterward. He took on the cape to be Batman in 2022 instead. Nine songs had too much rhythm. The 2004 British film is considered by many as another artistic lewd film. The daring Margot Stilly and Kieran O'Brien starred in this romance. It revolves around the nine love songs that represent the storyline. Despite categorizing it as a romantic film, many criticized its salaciousness. The actress's reputation was badly hurt by her fearlessness in this film. She revealed in an interview that people got angry at her. She was questioned as to the type of role model she was showcasing to the youth. But in her defense, she was making an art film. Shia LaBeouf might have shied away. The 2013 sensual art film, Nymphomaniac, was a co-production of artists from Germany, Belgium, Denmark, and France. It was so long, they had to cut it into two. Since the film revolves around the actual act, it's natural to see everyone stripped all the time. Since Shia LaBeouf was surrounded by veteran multi-awarded actors, he really pushed himself hard to get it right. He claimed that an actual intimate scene was played out. He was telling the truth, partly, but it was revealed later that a body double did it. She has an unusual to-do list. Aubrey Plaza started as a sketch comedy artist, but she has gone a long way from being an actress and a producer. She even received a Golden Globe Award for the HBO series The White Lotus. Yet pleasing the audience requires a lot of risk-taking. She directed and starred in the 2013 rom-com The To-Do List. She did it not for pleasure, but followed just what is in the script. The actress was so desperate to promote this CBS film. In an event, she took Will Ferrell's award for comedic genius and ran with a cocktail drink in hand. Eventually, the actress was escorted out of the ceremony. At least, that's crossed out of her checklist. Make it two.